to share with you a story called The Persian Cinderella by Shirley Clemo and art by Robert Forza. Now, this story is a fairy tale that is based off of Persian culture and it is also very similar to the Americanized Cinderella that a lot of people know today. The story is different in the fact that the fairy is not a fairy, a typical fairy that we might think of. And instead of a glass slipper, it's a diamond anklet. And there's also at the very end of the story, a twist into what happens to the Cinderella character. Now this Cinderella's name is Sitara. And Sitara, just like Cinderella, is um, doesn't have a mother. Her father is absent and she has two mean stepsisters who mock her throughout the story. Sitara one day was in the market where she buys this blue jug and when she takes it home and polishes it, she realizes that the jug is magic and whenever she asks of it, it will grant her her wishes. And so for the, or in the town, there's going to be a new day or kind of a new year's party and festival to celebrate. And her stepsisters told her that she couldn't go. Well, Sitara was sad. And so she asked the jug if she can ask her if she can go. So she ends up being able to go to the party. She wears a diamond anklet at the party and she meets the prince. So and just because she doesn't want to get in trouble, she rushes home and she drops the anklet. And what we might know is that the, like the end of the story is similar in the fact that the prince finds her with the anklet and is able to meet his Cinderella or meet Sitara again. But at the very end, like I said, there's a twist of the story, what happens to Sitara, and you're just going to have to read this to find out what happens.